and you have and you have kind of Spice Girls thing going on with because there's <laughs> Lucky Flag, right? Dork Flag, and uh, Sick Flag. And Sick Flag, <laughs> Princess, you're the newcomer to this group, and uh, I, I, you're responsible for getting the group together uh, via Craigslist. Is that right? Uh, yeah, I actually just um, wrote an ad on Craigslist, <laughs> like, "Hey, who wants to start a girl band?" and I'd never been a musician before. I thought I'd just like. You wanted to start a girl band, then you figured you'd learn music. Uh, well. Thanks everyone for coming out. This is awesome. <laughs> I played guitar um, kind of like half-heartedly for like, I don't remember when I first got it. Like, I actually wanted my mom. I think I was like 13 or so. It was like around the time Hanson was big. <laughs> I was like, well, I mean, I can play guitar. And like, I, I thought like if I actually joined the band, I, it would force me to practice and get better. And I think I said something to that effect in the ad. So people knew what they were like up against. <laughs> they were like, okay, um, you're really bad, and I don't know why. <laughs> um, Princess is real dorky, so she's dork flag, and she's a lot of fun. You know, she's she knows all this crap about cell biology, and she'll go off on a tangent about it. She'll also go off on a tangent about like some band you've never heard of, and nobody gives a shit, and it's awesome. And I am lucky because. Lord knows I have found some really nice girls and I've stumbled across some really good luck finally after several years of not being so lucky in music. Jess is sick flag and she's not usually the one that's sick but like she's sort of you know her symbol is the sort of first aid symbol and she's definitely the person that kind of mends fences in our band she's the big sister even though she's not the oldest you know she makes sure that me and princess stay in line you know just hang around uh, if people come talk to me I'll talk to them I'm not really outgoing so I just like to chill and feel good yeah um well, Betsy's kind of a, uh, she's crazy, but she has a good heart, so, um, yeah. I'm probably the chattiest and the, I'm the schmooze. <laughs> they call me the schmooze. When I was a kid, I didn't really fit in where I grew up, and I hung out in the Long Island punk scene a lot, and those were, like, my only friends in high school, and people in my high school thought I was crazy because I wasn't, like, you know, a size double zero and buying Armani Exchange and bullshit like that. And like, you know, I was like, oh, I really like Sonic Youth. And people were like, what the fuck is Sonic Youth? <laughs> Music has been, it's, it's a community, I guess. You know, it's sort of like having a group of friends and 
being able to see your friends, because you don't always get to find out what your friends are passionate about, but when you meet people through music, you know what they're passionate about, and you know what they're good at, and you can watch them. <laughs> Word. Yeah. I love music. Music is awesome. Is it for you a, a little bit of a statement to, to start a girls band beyond just wanting to create good music? Um, it, it is and it isn't at the same time. Like, it's, I think it's been foisted upon us mm. yeah. in a way. Like Everywhere we go, people want to know why we're an all-girl band, <laughs> not yeah. so much. We why. don't go out to do it, but it just happens to us. I, I think that girls in general are taught to be sort of pretty and in a certain way, you know, girls are supposed to like pop music and quiet, pretty things and not necessarily want to be screaming and bleeding and have their makeup running down their faces or, you know, not bother to wear makeup or have messy hair. So kind of gets really in the way. Well, can we hear a little bit of your music right now? Yeah, you can. Um, this song's called Roman Candle. me up I think I'm ready now to get burned yeah I'll watch it chain reacts and it's gold it glitters like you've never seen I forgot yeah we'll be waiting here two reviews so far um, one of them they gave us like a 3.5 out of 5 but it was a really good review so I don't really know what they were complaining about because they only said positive things in the review and the other review he was a little critical of our vocal harmonies but we recorded our records both of us in one day like in literally 12 hours and that's what we did and Fuck it, you know, we put out a good effort, I think. I think it sounds good. I think it's a great first record, and I think people will really like it. I'm just kind of seeing where it goes. <laughs> I mean, I don't really have any goals, like, other than to have fun <laughs> with it. Like, when it stops being fun, I'll probably stop. But, yeah. <laughs> I hope this lasts forever. I don't know how long it'll last, but I'm not going anywhere. Um, I know Jess isn't going anywhere. Um, I hope Princess isn't going anywhere. I think that as long as we all live here and as long as we're all happy with one another, I think that we'll just we'll always be friends and we'll always play music together because it's it's a great thing that happens when we come together. We just we click musically and personality wise and I think that's something that's important for keeping a band together. <laughs>